What's up YouTube? So this is going to be jet ski project number two. So you see I've got the original XP still sitting over there on the trailer, completely restored and winterized. Not that it necessarily needs to be since it's gonna be inside the garage all winter. But we went ahead and sprayed some fog and oil and you know also put some stable in the gasoline so it should be nice and, and tight to sit there for the winter. And this is the second ski that I've got. Uh, long story short, I got this one as part of a trailer swap, which if you remember from the original video, I had the XP just on a single trailer, you know, single ski trailer, totally restored it, new wheels, tires, hardware, all that good stuff, paint. And I knew that I wanted two jet skis, so whenever I went to the lake, I could actually take someone with me, like my wife or a buddy. So I was looking for a double trailer and wound up finding one to swap. And the guy that had it had this particular Yamaha on there that literally came along with the trailer for just a $200 investment on my part after the trailer swap. So you basically swap the trailers, got a bigger trailer, double, tra you know, double ski, and then gave him $200 cash and he gave me this jet ski, which I thought was a pretty good deal, right? So this is an XLT 1200 Yamaha. And it was running when I first got it, uh, however, after taking it to my mechanic, big shout out to you, Jose, um, we found that the third cylinder was completely seized up. So the first two cylinders were actually running fine, had a little bit low compression, uh, but the third cylinder was literally just completely seized. So it was running, but turns out it was only running on two cylinders. So I just got it back from the mechanic shop. So we've got it back now, it's running fine brand new top end so we've rebuilt the entire top end of the engine and now i'm about to start the restoration process from an aesthetic perspective so you can see that you know it's not in terrible shape it just needs a good cleanup uh, the seat is actually in really good condition i may or may not decide to put a new cover on it probably not uh, since there's no rips or tears in this one it's a you know a nice red color maybe put some leather cream, leather conditioner on it and just let that stay as is. But honestly, for me, everything else needs to be touched up. I mean, you've got all the stickers. So this whole side, I've actually removed the stickers. You can see, you know, I started some of the work here, got the heat gun, got some of those graphics pulled off. And, you know, honestly, the rest of the paint, there's scuffs, there's, you know, stickers on the back that are peeling off. Um, you know, again, the factory graphics have nicks and chips all throughout. I mean, you can see this one's super faded. And, you know, obviously I need to pull off all the Alabama stickers because it's now gonna be registered in Georgia. So probably what I'm gonna do for this guy is I actually gave maybe 10 minutes worth of thought at potentially painting the hull because I'm just a big fan of black jet skis, just like that CD over there, the XP. I love the black look, you know, of the jet ski and then, you know, some accent colors. I'm not a big fan of a giant white jet ski like this one, but in order to paint the hull, that was gonna be a major feat. You know, I actually found something on Amazon that would let you hoist the jet ski with maybe an engine hoist. There was actually a, a strap that would hook right under this bumper on both sides of the ski and then you would hoist it from the middle on something like an engine hoist so you could technically do that to be able to get underneath and actually have access to the entire hull but when you think about the effort that would be involved just to change the color you know i, I am ocd and i do love aesthetics and making things look new and and shiny and flashy and all this good jazz but that is way too much effort just to change the whole color. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna leave it white, leave it as is. And the hole itself on this thing is actually in really good condition. So probably just do some wax, you know, buffing, buffing uh, compound and wax on the hole and be done with it. However, just like the other ski, everything from that bumper line and above, I'm gonna restore the way that I did the first one. So I'm gonna take off all these old mats and ironically, Somebody actually did put black tip, but you can see, I mean, there's just the stickers completely off and these are starting to deteriorate to the point where, you know, they actually rub off black when you rub them with your fingers. So I'm gonna pull off all the bumper pads, get new pads, and probably what I'm gonna wind up doing from a paint perspective is everything that is now white above the bumper line, I'm probably gonna go jet black, just like it did on the XP. 
and then everything that is currently black, which is really just this whole top hood, will probably be painted a red, uh, potentially a red or a gray. You know, I haven't decided yet because the seat is obviously red, the graphics that I'll get to replace will also be red, so I wouldn't want the graphics to clash, you know, with a red top, right? You wouldn't want two shades of red up top. So I may wind up painting what's white red and just put a fresh black coat of paint on what's currently black. Still debating on that, but other things I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna change up the handlebar system just like I did on that XP over there to more of a, a BMX style, you know, handlebar. I really prefer that over this giant pad. Uh, the one mechanical piece that I still have to iron out is the trim cable is completely seized. So I've got to do a new trim cable in order to actually use the trim. But ev everything else, I mean, is good. The electronics seem to work fine. This one has reverse. I mean, it's a power valve, 1200 cc motor. So I mean, it's a, a big two stroke engine that's already got the oil bypass installed. So you actually mix the oil with the gas so you know that it's getting lubricated. And this was a big one. This was incredibly stable when I was putting around with it, you know, when I did that trade right there at the dock. So I may wind up keeping this one just because it's super stable, but time will tell, we'll see. So this is the before, and you know, as this project goes on, I'll probably do some checkpoint videos, but so far this is what we've got starting with. And I'm really anxious to see how this turns out once it's all done. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned guys. All right, guys, it is December 26th, 2019. I'm about to get started on the second CD restoration. This is the Yamaha 2003 model XLT1200. So you can see the first one I've got completely done sitting over there on the trailer, along with the trailer I've completely restored. And this one I've got disassembled uh, quite a bit with the seat apart, you know, got all the, the handlebar elements off the top. And uh, essentially what we're gonna do on this is do another one of those uh, BMX style handlebars like you see over there on the XP and that's what I'm gonna do on this guy as well in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding it down and let me show you some of the supplies that we're gonna use and again high-end Home Depot paint job for you guys so <clears throat> one of the things I'm gonna do first is of course once I get it all sanded down I'm gonna use some of this filler primer to hopefully you know smooth out any imperfections in the clear coat, the gel coat that's on that uh, white and, and uh, the fiberglass portion of this ski as well as some of the plastics. And then what I've decided to do on the color scheme, you see the ski, so if I had it my way, I would paint the entire hull black to match the XP. I really love how it looks, you know, black on black, but that's just going to be too big of a chore for really what what type of effort I'm willing to, to give this thing. I mean, you would have to get underneath this guy, you would have to sand down the hole, you'd have to jack up one side to paint, you know, where that one runner is and then do the other on the other side. It quite honestly, the hole is in really good shape. The clear coat is in great condition. Um, gel coat, I should say, not clear coat. So I'm just not gonna mess with it. So what I'm gonna do from the bumper, so from right here up, I'm gonna use this carbon mist color from Rust-Oleum, which it's not black, but it's very close. It's a super, super dark gray, black, you know, hybrid, I would say. And I think that's gonna look really good. And then the titanium silver, all the black plastics right now. So this is gonna be the carbon mist leading up into the plastic, which is gonna be the titanium silver. So I'm gonna do silver, on everything that's black plastic now, and as well as the hood, which I have over there on the floor, you can see, it's also gonna be that same uh, silver. And I'm gonna mask off those two slits that almost look like eyes, and I'm gonna leave those black for a little bit of contrast. And you saw some red paint over there. You know, at first, I was thinking I wanted to do some red trim because the seat is actually red and it's in really good condition. I, you know, I toyed with the idea of actually doing a, a seat cover, which I may still decide to do, depends on how the, the finished product comes out, but it really doesn't need it. There's no rips, you know, it, it could use a little bit of cleaning, which I haven't put much effort into at this point, uh, but it's red, obviously. So I was thinking, let's have some red accent pieces to go along with the seat, 
but there really wasn't any good opportunities, I would say, for red that I thought would look good on this ski based on everything else. So I think I'm gonna stick with neutral colors. I'm just gonna do dark gray and light gray, essentially, and probably just hang on to the red paint and you know either return it or use it for another project. So we'll see how this comes out. I'm gonna try to do a time lapse with the GoPro of actually doing the entire project, and we'll see how that video footage comes out. But this is it before any work has been done. The only thing I will say that I have done is the exposed uh, piece right here for the actual you know steering and the cables and whatnot i have painted it black so one of the things that not exactly sure why i overlooked it or missed it i mean it was my first effort at doing a ski for some reason i did not paint that on the xp so it's just a, a raw metal you know exposed and i didn't want that with this one i wanted it to be nice and sleek so i went ahead and painted all these mechanics black so most of this will still be exposed once the handlebars are on but it's going to be a nice clean black so it should look nice and clean and i'm going to do wire looms on things like this to really finish the job so i think this will look good when it's all done so let's see what the footage looks like all right guys here we are with the yamaha 2003 xlt 1200 it's been sanded it's taped off ready for primer and paint so since the last video, obviously you can see that I've sanded all the imperfections out, got it nice and smooth. Uh, went over it just a few minutes ago with mineral spirits to make sure all the dust is gone. I'm waiting on that to dry, you can still see, you know, some of it is taking a little bit longer to dry um, based on the temps in here. <clears throat> but you can see I've got it taped off. So I'm gonna leave those two eye inserts, if you will. I'm gonna leave those black. So it gives you a little bit of contrast with the trim. I've got the, the handlebar set up all taped off because obviously I don't want paint to get on that, but I went ahead and installed the handlebar kit, which is very similar to like a BMX bike. And uh, you've got the <clears throat> trim on the left-hand side, the start-stop switch also over there. And then you've got the trigger throttle on the right-hand side and all that's installed underneath uh, that paper sack or that garbage bag. So yeah, so everything uh, is taped off and ready. The only thing I've got left to tape off, as I've just noticed doing this video, are the mirrors to make sure paint doesn't get on the actual mirrors. I'll do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and start doing the primer. And probably just because of the temp, it's about 55 or 60 out here, and I don't wanna paint with the garage completely closed. Probably at least two coats to make sure we get a good thick layer to bond with and then close the garages and actually turn on the heater. I actually have a floor heater to hopefully heat this garage to about 70 degrees and just let that hang out overnight to hopefully help it dry. And then tomorrow it's gonna to be paint and then we're gonna be done. What is up YouTube? All right, project complete. 
This is the second of four jet skis that I just wrapped up this morning. I had to put the letters on the front for the registration. I had to do my seat cover and I had to fix up the top handlebars. So we got the trigger throttle grip, got one of the black tip covers. I was originally just gonna leave this open, uh, just like you can see over there with the XP where I've got the BMX style handlebars. The only problem with this one is the handlebar kit that I ordered was a little bit too wide. So literally it, it came way too far out. The other challenge, if I can show you without jumping on the trailer, is this particular handlebar grip is entirely different than the XP. So the XP does have trim, but it's actually electronic, which is pretty slick. It's got a motor uh, with a switch very similar. Right there you see the wires over there by the handle grip. That's the electric uh, motor driven trim, whereas the Yamaha has a manual cable driven trim. So it required a special type of handle. Uh, you had to stick with the OEM Yamaha handle if you wanted to keep the trim, which I obviously did. So I had to do a little bit of audibles on the handlebars, but I think it turned out nice. Um, the paint, I went with carbon mist, and you can see it's probably can't tell in this light. It's about to be bad weather out today, as you can tell, so there's not a lot of sun. But this isn't completely black. It's a super, super, I would say, dark gray, uh, very dark gray. And I thought it did really, really nice with the uh, OEM emblems. Not sure if they're 100% OEM. There may be a little bit of tweaks to them, but I really love the look and matched it up with the seat cover. Now, I'm gonna do a before and after. I'll show you what the seat cover looked like before. I think this actually completely finishes the look on this ski. Um, before, it was just the original seat cover, which was red, and it was actually in decent shape. There wasn't any rips or tears. There was a little bit of fading and staining, um, but I just didn't think it went with this color scheme. So, you know, once you got the, the new seat cover on here, this is actually a, um, it's supposed to be like a carbon fiber texture. You can see there's actually black with gray mixed in and you've got the gray and then red. And what's really cool about the red, this is actually suede. Probably can't tell that from the, the actual video, but it's a different material than the top of the seat. It's actually suede red with carbon fiber accents. And I think that does really good tying it together with the decals, which has a little bit of red trim and you also have, you know, their version, the decal version of carbon fiber with that little uh, honeycomb design, if you will. I think it turned out really, really good. Better than the first one, actually. Um, you know, the XP is really, really awesome. Love the yellow and black and gray. Also digging the, uh, the plain Yamaha with just two-tone. I really wanted to paint the hole. My original plan when I saw this, because the hole's in really good shape, I was gonna paint the hole black and you know blend it up so the whole ski looked like this xp black all around but that's just too much work wasn't trying to get into it that deep you would have had to have jacked the thing up it would have been a pain in the ass and then if you walk around got all new black tip pads really think this finished out the look nicely um, these are really really cool they've got a little design and it's a uh, black and in the middle of these little grooves there's actually a lighter gray so it really does good pulling the color scheme together. Didn't really have to do any mechanical work. The only mechanical thing I did here was change the cables. Uh, and what I mean by the cables is it had to have a new trim cable and a new reverse cable. Um, technically the trim cable was completely seized. You could not move the handle whatsoever. The reverse cable actually worked, but when you looked at it, I'm gonna try to show the, the pictures I took it was completely disintegrated. How it was still working, I have no idea, but it would have been foolish not to just go ahead and replace it. So this is the Yamaha. This is a 2003 XLT 1200. It's got a completely top end rebuild fresh. Uh, hasn't even been broken in yet. We sprayed some of the, the fogging oil and put some stable in the gas and it's just sat. So <clears throat> come next season, I'll have to get it out and break in the rings. Uh, but it's got a top end rebuild, bottom end was fine. Uh, it's already got the oil block off system on it, so you don't have to worry about that. You just mix the oil, just like you do the XP. It's also got the two stroke block off kit on it. And again, really love how it came out. So, so that's it guys. Essentially what I did to it was painted it, decaled it with new decals. I did the seat cover. I did the actual traction pads. Um, 
you know, the handlebar modifications. I went back with an OEM handlebar, but as you can tell, and like I said, I did the trigger grip here and then the nice black tip uh, cover to cover up that old faded plastic because I've had really bad experience trying to paint plastic that flexes. Uh, you're just gonna get cracked paint. So I just wanted to cover it up so it was nice and black. So that's the way this turned out. And again, hopefully it runs like a top and, and that's it. I got all the decals on it and, uh, and yeah, so that's a finished project. So now once I get these down and uh, out of the garage, I've got two sea uh, dews that I'm gonna work on restoring. And looks like it's time for lunch. Here comes my daughter. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more awesome projects. Peace. Daddy.